Well, it was 1972 when man last walked on the moon. Now, since then, many scientists and engineers have dreamed of making it back. And now that it is 2019, that dream may become reality for one local engineering firm. They made national headlines just a few weeks ago when they won a contract with NASA. Well, now tonight, we are getting this inside look at their facility and their mission to return to the lunar surface. The mission blasts off in 2021. It's an important step for us. Target the moon. So we started looking at the technologies that would be required. Houston based company Intuitive Machines is one of nine firms in the US that was awarded the opportunity to bid on NASA contracts to deliver lunar payloads. We've finished our conceptual design. Engineers here are excited about the project, but how will it work? So imagine if every time you had to ship something from coast to coast, you built a truck just to take that piece from LA to New York. Now that's IX. NASA will come out and say, hey, here's something we would like to see go to the moon. And then we're, we're able to bid on that and say, yeah, the truck we've built to do a lot of different things going to the moon um, can accommodate that. And here's how much we would do that for. Tim Crane is the director of engineering for the lander. He says they are working diligently to meet deadlines. Now we're assembling components where testing integrated systems. And our design might change and will change. We're not only building hardware, but we're building software. So what exactly will be on those payloads? VP of Aerospace Services Trent Martin says there could be anything from ground penetrating radar systems, devices to measure movement, even equipment to drill into the moon's surface to search for ice. If you can find out the timeline of how the moon was was formed, you essentially can find the timeline of how the, the solar system was formed. While the price tag for this type of research is in the billions, the information acquired is priceless. This is a $2.6 billion program over a 10 year period. We fully expect that NASA will be awarding multiple uh, task orders to send things to the moon. Which bodes very well for local job growth. So in the spring we'll be hiring um, as we, we ramp up. Uh, to uh, meet our obligations both under the NASA contract and uh, for our commercial customers. Martin says for many here, this project has been a lifelong goal. Getting back to the moon is what we dreamt about as kids.